Hello, I'm at the back. Oh, CC Rock, how are you doing? I got major problem. I got spokes in my eyes, bandage on my head. I had a major blackout. Scorpions, that's right. Scorpions play Cocker Pavilion. We have them on CC Rock this month. But before we go to the show to interview Rudolf Schenker and James Kodak, the drummer, we're gonna show you some clips from Tower Records where the Scorpions signed the new CD, Eye to Eye. Check this out. And life begins, and mother's over. As another day begins. Yep. Scorpions. Yeah! <laughs> it happens to me It happens to you I do believe You're still around me You're still around me Hey, what's up? Good to see you there, everybody. Yeah, you are. We're going to go to the line. Yeah, I heard about it. I heard you were going to the line. Hey, you want to... Uh, hey. Good. How are you? Thank you. Welcome back to CC Rock. You know, as a youngster, I grew up with a lot of bands, but one was very, very deep in my mind, and that is the Scorpions. A lot of great ballads. I remember many vacations, many holidays spent listening to the Scorpions. And tonight, I'm very fortunate to be joined by James Kodak, Rudolf Schenker, the Scorpions. How are you guys doing? You are fine. How are you? Oh, I'm doing good. It's a two band night again. I'm, I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> we are happy that we are here. We always love this. San Francisco area. Uh -huh. We always remember he had good memories, good friends, and stuff like this. And by the way, you're still young. Oh yes, I'm. I'm, I'm still young. We're, still, <laughs> yeah. we're all still young. We're we'll always be young, playing rock yeah. and roll, listening that's to rock and yeah, roll. That keeps us young. It does. Music. I tell yes. my wife keeps on thinking I'm just being a little too young sometimes doing this show, but. I like it. <laughs> that's important. That's the most important. Now I'm sure you guys like going out there on stage and blasting away on some killer tunes. I mean, we are already on the, on the road since uh, late April in Europe, including Russia, Scandinavia, and everything. And then we had this big uh, Michael Jackson friend thing in the Olympia Stadium in uh, Germany on the 27th of June. And then, by the way, we had to fly very fast over to the ocean because the next day there's uh, our tour started here, double headline package with Motley Crue. The Maximum Rock Tour. That's right. The maximum, I'll tell you, this is a Maximum Rock and I have been talking about this concert all summer long saying, this is the show. Last year it was Deep Purple, Emerson, Lincoln, Palmer, Dream Theater. Yeah. This year it's you guys and the crew. How is it up there with the crew? I mean, are these guys fun to be around? You guys hang out or what? I mean, look, actually, <laughs> no, actually he it's is all very, it's very, all very uh, he came up with the idea actually to put this whole thing together. Uh -huh. The management came together and we tried to do a thing because he is married to the sister of Tommy Lee. Really? Yeah, and he, but, interesting. Of course, Tommy though is at home now. Yes, family, yes. Because he's re rebuilding his family, but uh, here we are.
Rudolph, you have a brother, a brilliant guitarist just like yourself, named Michael Schenker. Play with UFO, play with you guys on the Love Drive album, play with Lonesome yes. Crow album. Yes. He has a lot of good memories, I think, playing with you guys. And there's a rumor that he was going to be on tour, possibly as an opera for you guys. Is that, is that any, any truth to that? I don't believe he was listening to our dressing room because wow. we, we said that maybe we want to come back in autumn and put some, uh, we was talk, talking about a, a band who mm -hmm. uh, be special guests. And mm -hmm. then the one situation was UFO, something yeah. like this. It would be p fantastic because it's somehow connecting. It's not Very much. something which you have to grab somewhere, you know, you mm -hmm. can say, oh, look, that's just a great thing because I'm, I think UFO stopped too early, you know, when mm -hmm. I think when Michael left in 78, mm -hmm. it was exactly the, the beginning of a great rock time. Oh, yes. Where did the album's lights out and all the stuff was fantastic, you know, and just too bad. But anyway, I saw them when they played together again, uh, I think two years ago, mm -hmm. and we still a good band, or maybe, you never know. Yeah. We know it's, uh, you have to think things, our agents today here, and we talk about because mm -hmm. we love it here to play rock in mm -hmm. the United States because that's the home of rock and roll. No question about it. Because we coming from Germany, we don't have rock radio really. Yeah. Here is rock radio. You have the right venues, the ambulance theaters here, and uh, the, the buses and everything is here really. That is, you know, when you come here after traveling around the world and playing everywhere, mm -hmm. this is really the, the best country for playing rock music and the yeah. people enjoying it. We, when we on on the road, you know, with double packing. Uh, Motley crew, the people love it, really. They are really happy that mm -hmm. bands like us still hey, on the way. That's why we do this show. So, I mean, there's so many bands out there. Yeah. I mean, I started the show off with Saxon, one of my favorite bands. I think you guys, Saxon, UFO, yeah. Rush, Triumph, my five favorite yeah. bands. Oh, and you guys are, of course, on that five list. I can't Thank say one because mind. that's like saying, you know, <laughs> that's like saying you can't say one band. Yeah, I just, yeah. it's on a desert island. Yeah. I think I probably pick you guys because you relax me a little bit better. <laughs> Holiday, the holiday. Yeah. holiday. I, I, let's See? say it's Christmas time. Do you and Michael get together and have a Christmas together and play coast to coast together or what? <laughs> no, I don't want to say actually. Uh, it's mostly like this because I have a sister also. She mm -hmm. lives in London. And she brother, plays guitar. Uh, no, she I play now guitar but also key keyboards. Ah. So, and you know, it's somehow when I'm uh, in. Um, Japan, he is in Germany. Yeah, when I'm yeah. America, he's there. But I sh actually, I will uh, see him when we play in Phoenix because he's uh, living in Phoenix. And also, I think nine or ten weeks ago, we was headlining a festival in Sweden, mm -hmm. and he was also on the bill. Yeah. And we. Uh, um, Do you guys hit like it off talk? still? I mean, what's what? the family relationship between you and Michael? Is what? Are you are you close with Michael? Yeah, are you guys good, good friends, very good friends, brothers and friends, and we he even played on a, on a, one album. I did the uh, last MSG record. Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh. Shane Gallus and uh, who else is on that yeah. one? Uh, uh, Robin that McCauley one? and Michael oh, Shanker. Oh, Robin McCauley, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the last MSG record. Right, the last right, with, McCauley uh, Shanker album. Yeah. Yeah. So in this case, situation, I, we have a good, very good relationship, mm -hmm. and I was always supporting my uh, mother because he's a fantastic guitar player. Yeah, see the main. And he's a great guy. And uh, Christmas, I think the last time we spent Christmas, about uh, maybe 20 years ago or something. Wow. I don't, it's, it's always rock and roll world, huh? Yeah, that's right. So we, we live it. Uh, you know, we are, we are gypsies. We yes. travel around the world, and you know, it's not important that you're together. The spirit must be together. It's important. That's true. Michael is one of his albums positive forward very much That's, in his yes. spirit yeah. now you know we talked about the family thing but this is this the real subject your new album eye to eye i like it a lot Thank scott you. my cameraman Thanks. he's in love with it too Thank the first time much. i heard it, i heard from actually a person from cmc international said it's got almost a techno sound to it. And I was like, whoa. Techno. Now, yeah, I was going, techno, techno. That's kind of throwing me for a curve. Yeah. But I listened to it and I said, this is hot. Because you know, as I get older, I feel that there's a need for change in everybody's life. And you guys changed in a way I think is very pleasant. Very pleasant for my feeling about the music and how it changed. I mean, what do you guys think about the music? Yes. I, I mean, tell you what, look, the situation is like this. I know the most rock uh, fans, listeners, are very conservative. but. Even a conservative, you have to not ignore new things coming in Te in studio technology, digital recording, digital recording, and 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 so. When I start really uh, working uh, with uh, artist recording, composing, composing, you know, mm -hmm. you can cut things out, put things in, and, yeah. and so of course, when you don't have a drummer, you put these loops together because now you have CDs, mm -hmm. great recorded 
loops, you put your own loops together mm -hmm. and, and, you're, and you start recording, coming. Yeah. you're uh, getting new ideas and new things and that's the reason why this album is also different because everybody in the band is uh, also working with things like this and you can't ignore you know, new technology. Oh, that yeah. means important was for us when we did this album, we want to be not a band of yesterday, mm -hmm. not the only yes. band, we want to be a band of today. But not this far that we're losing our fan base. We still want to please our fan Very base, important. but we, it's like this. This is the sta same soup still. Mm -hmm. No, only we put some different spices in. We took some from Eastern, you know, little mm -hmm. spices, mm -hmm. the guy said, oh, <laughs> that's great. What's this? It's the same soup. Only yeah. do, you only have to put, and what we did on this album is even when you sometimes think there's keyboards on it, and that, okay, we have few keyboards on it, but very little. The most things are we was using guitars in a different way. We try not doing always the same thing. You know, when you do 13 albums as a 14th so I mean, you really want to try to create a new uh, taste, new flavor. Mm -hmm. So that's what we try to do on this album, and so and we have a great drummer now. Hey, thank you. Hey. Uh, but, guy but, who's very creative too. Every time there's a new record, like Eye to Eye, for yes, example, Eye to Eye, it's like there's 15 new things on there. It's like when you meet a new person, mm -hmm. you either remember your their new name or you don't. Exactly. The new album is the same way. You remember it oh, or yes. you don't, and this is one you will. Hong Kong, California, it's good to see all you tonight! We're gonna take you to ride through Scorpion's years and play, of course, some of the classics, but also songs from the latest album, Eye to Eye. Here's a new one, this one's called Mysterious!
you've got some people on this album, some great people. You got Mick Jones playing some acoustic guitar on yeah. was it, uh, light, Ten Year Light Years. Ten Year Light Years, yeah. Beautiful song. Thank you. And then you also have Herman Rarebell doing backing vocals. Yeah, he's still our friend. You know, he actually mm -hmm. picked him and said, you know, when somebody can, can replace me, uh -huh. it's only James. Yeah, uh -huh. and we, uh, Herman and I were old friends. I, I was in a band called Kingdom Come from 1987 mm -hmm. through 91. Mm -hmm. And during this uh, Monsters of Rock tour in '88, we opened for the Scorpions. Mm -hmm. That's where I met these guys, and I met Herman, and we've been friends. Yeah. And Another amazing person. I mean, yeah. I heard his solo stuff. So he yeah. pancake or whatever. I mean, that's yeah. good stuff out there. Yeah, he came. He came actually uh, to us, and he wants to uh, do his own record company mm -hmm. with Prince Albert together, Monaco Records. So and there was a time, you know, sometimes things changing, you know, and yeah. We met James and uh, it worked all good and we on stage especially now I think we are very strong. Uh, that's right. Yeah. Strong. Yeah, very strong. Yes. We, will see, we will see when we, when we later well, go on stage. Young blood. young blood here. I mean, yeah, we're not old, right. but we got some younger blood. See, younger yeah, blood. I'm his son. Yeah. Oh, you really? <laughs> Illegitimate. No. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that brings you to another subject. All the babes. I mean, come on now. I remember the days. I used to go to the shows and there used to be the spandex babes left and right all over you guys. Yeah. I mean, you guys filmed a music video, No One Like You uh, on Alcatraz. Yes. A lot of babes. Is that still part of the life? I mean, you guys are, are you course, families with, or what's without, going on? Without babes, the life would be <laughs> terrible. <laughs> yes, that is the soup. The soup I told my wife like, that, but she doesn't go for it. You know, and you <laughs> can remember. look. You can look. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I you her. You can look, but just don't I touch. remember the time, you know, where we had so much security that we went backstage mm -hmm. and nobody ate. Is this sold out? Yeah, it's sold out. But what's happening here? Look, guys, come. Bring people in. We have, want to have something. That there must be. You can't Substance. go on stage. Yeah, you can't go on stage. <laughs> very sterilized, sitting oh, there, God. and then go on stage and like, Whoa! like you have to have the atmosphere already backstage. That's important. You have always showed a lot of energy. So much energy, it's almost incredible on stage playing guitar. Thank I mean, I, there's some pictures I have. My friend is Greg, and you just, you just, you just, you put it every night. It seems like you always put everything out. Yeah, that's How do you keep up the energy? Of that, that, that. That's. I think you know. First of all, it's in uh, your, your mind. You know, most people go in the safe way. I always said, like he has a, shares the same philosophy. That's every concert. Yeah. I handle it. It could be the last one. Mm -hmm. So this exactly. is the, that's that the, that's the that's the point hard thing which, to do. which 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 gives you this uh, this uh, approach. But the people yeah. also really get that. That's like uh, when I see Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah, he's yeah, somebody yeah. like this too. He is so much in it. Oh, yes. That you know he, he's a different person. Oh yeah. You know? But that's that's what it is. You have to give everything because then you can really perform the songs as. Uh, the best. No, I'll tell you, you guys are amazing. I think that you know, Thank seeing you. you guys on stage just makes me feel young. It makes me feel like you know, life has special meaning. Not no, just a meaning, but special. That's the reason why when we now we have a website since uh, uh, nine, ten months. And you know, when you're uh, reading the guest book, you know, when they're writing things in it, and they're saying, you know, please stay and play, and because that's what we have from our past mm -hmm. we carry you like 20 25 years and it's it's it's, it's you, you became a part of our life when we have terrible time we put the album or a cd on it and after that we be good that's i think that's a good thing we can give the people okay.
Well, that concludes our show of the Scorpions, a great group of guys. There's not many groups these days that will go to a record store and sign albums, CDs, pictures for people. So it's very important. Go ahead and support the Scorpions. And their new album, Eye to Eye, it's on Matt's A-list. So go check it out. Now, you might have remembered Motley Crue was the last band to play after the Scorpions at that Maximum Rock Tour. And next month, we will have the crew on CC Rock. So for a Halloween special, don't go too far away because next month, Gonna be you, the viewer, that makes the show move. So give us the energy, give us a call. I'm Metal Matias. Hasta luego. This is another song from I to I. This one's called Mind Like a Tree.